everyone and welcome to another very special Storytime Tuesday. We haven't done one for quite a while now but all of the staff at Holy Rosary would like to wish you an enormous Merry Christmas and we really really hope that you enjoy listening to us reading the story of the Nutcracker. One cold and frosty Christmas Eve night, the Stalbum house shone festive and bright. Twinkling candles lit up the tree as guests arrived for the Stalbum party. Clara and Fritz both clapped to see treats of chocolate, candy canes, sugar, mice and sweets. The last to arrive was Herr Drosselmeyer, who offered his gifts for all to admire. Clara and Fritz chuckled and cheered as two life-size dolls suddenly appeared. Then Clara and Fritz watched entranced as the magical dolls whirled and danced. Then Herr Drosselmeyer took out the best gift of all. He gave Clara a splendid Nutcracker doll. In his elegant uniform, he was a fine sight, and Clara's eyes opened wide with delight. But before Clara's thanks had even been spoken, Fritz grabbed the doll and it was broken. Herr Drosselmeyer, being kindly and good, tried mending the nutcracker's splintered wood. Then after much feasting, dancing and play, Herr Drosselmeyer left on his sleigh. As they waved good night, Clara's mother said, hurry now children, it's time for bed. Later that night, as the silent house slept, Clara rose from her bed and down the stairs crept. Then among all the presents, she quickly sought the nutcracker that Air Drosselmeyer bought. Snuggling down with the doll at her chest, she waited for sweet dreams to fill her night's rest. Before very long, she awoke with a fright, startled by strange sounds in the still night. Sitting up quickly and blinking her eyes, she saw that the toys had grown to life size. Her beloved Nutcracker stood mighty and tall. When she stood beside him, Clara felt small. Behind him, tin soldiers stood in a row with their swords all drawn and ready to go. Then a troop of grey mice marched into the room and started a battle by the light of the moon. They, the mighty mouse army, led by the mouse king, bombarded the soldiers and looked set to win. The nutcracker commanded as best as he could, but they were outnumbered. It didn't look good. When the nutcracker fell, Clara took up a shoe and aimed at the mouse king and desperately threw. The soldiers all cheered as the king was struck down. The mice were defeated and the toy seized the crown. When Clara looked into the nutcracker's eyes, she was amazed and gasped with surprise. For during the battle, or perhaps even since, he had changed from a doll to a handsome young prince. Now the prince looked at Clara, bowed down and cried, Come, my dear Clara, let's go outside. Journeyed on to the kingdom of sweets, a land full of dancing and sugary treats. The sugar plum fairy, so dainty and nice, danced especially for Clara on a stage of ice. Next came a dance from the sweets of the world, who made Clara dizzy as they twisted and twirled. The next thing she knew, Clara was awoken, and her nutcracker doll was no longer broken. Had her adventure been all that it seemed, or was it a fantasy? 
she had just dreamed. Clara's questions were soon chased away as Fritz wished her a Merry Christmas Day. That was the story of the Nutcracker, a really Christmassy tale. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a lovely Christmas and we'll see you all again in January. Take care. Merry Christmas. <laughs>